Planet of the Fakes Kids in Pig Star HH News. Judge's son charged with killing pregnant girlfriend days before her due date. A Mississippi judge's son was charged Wednesday with murdering his pregnant girlfriend just days before she was due to give birth, police said. A specially appointed judge was needed for a hearing into Terrence Sample, 33, because the others in Holmes County know his mother, Rosie Sample, a justice in a neighboring county, according to the Mississippi Clarion Ledger. Sample is charged with kidnapping and murdering Michaela Winston, 21, whose body was discovered in a ditch near Lexington on Monday and whose due date for her first baby was just three days later, on July 4. He was also charged with capital murder for the unborn baby because Mississippi is one of 38 states with a fetal homicide law. Winston's family told cops that Sample was her boyfriend, and Holmes County Sheriff Willie March said they were seen together Thursday, the night the mom-to-be went missing. She was heading to show the sonogram to the baby's father, Winston's mom, Avetti Brown, had earlier told WLBT. However, Sample has denied being in a relationship with the victim, saying he was instead seeing another woman, who is also being questioned, the sheriff told the Clarion Ledger. Sample was denied bond at Wednesday's hearing. Update, Vegas police say woman falsely reported stolen car, missing baby. Update May 15, the woman who who told police that a car with a baby inside was stolen on May 14 created a false report, according to detectives. Police say 23-year-old Shavana Miller called 911 and reported the incident deceitfully. Miller was arrested for child neglect, unlawful use of emergency phone number and false reporting of a crime. She was brought into custody and transported to CCDC. Original story. LAS Vegas, KTNV, Las Vegas police say that a car with a baby inside was stolen this morning in the 6,500 block of Vegas Drive Nefalsal Repines Drive. The incident was repoically search every street, corner, and every apartment complex, every store, we were looking at every nook, said Lt. Chris Holmes. He also said this all started with a domestic dispute of some sort between the mother and the supposed father in a parking lot. Investigators believed at some point, the man drove off with the mother's car with the baby still inside. Officers then located the stolen car and the child about 15 minutes after the search began. Child advocates said in a situation like this it is best to keep your keys close to you, or on you. I think the most important thing is to remember to not have the car running, said Jean Marsala, director of Safe Kids at Sunrise Children's Hospital. She admits hot days in Las Vegas can be a struggle but to avoid your car from being stolen it is best to put children in first. Don't put your purse and your keys in the car first. Especially, if you have a car that has a fob, Marsala said. Fob keys make it easier for someone to drive off with your child and car since the key has to be within range anywhere inside the car. Once they reach out of range without the fob the car will not operate any longer, said Marsala. You image on Twitter. Cynthia Maldonado at CynthiaCTV. At LVMPD say it's a domestic dispute. Child will remain in their custody until investigation and done. LVMPD's main concern was the child's safety. At KTNV. And keeping the keys on you at all times will decrease those chances. I want to make sure that you keep your keys actually on your body. If you're a woman with a purse you could put the purse in the car as long as it's locked but make sure the keys are kept on your body, Marsala said. Woman accused of filing false kidnapping report left child with boyfriend. LAS Vegas, KTNV, the arrest report for the woman arrested after reporting her car and baby were stolen on May 14 has been released. Shivana Miller told police that she had put her baby in the car and was folding a stroller when the car took off. She also claimed that she threw a rock at the car, breaking a window. And, she said that she followed the car to the best of the West shopping complex before losing sight of it. Law enforcement officers from all over the valley began searching for the car and missing baby immediately. A short time later, they were able to locate the car and detained the man who was driving it. The man was identified as the woman's boyfriend and he had a much different story. According to him, he and Miller had gotten into a fight because she believed he was cheating. She took off with another child, leaving the baby with him. He then decided to go to a local gas station with the baby. Miller was aware that he had the baby and did not express concern for the child's location but was mad at him for leaving. She texted and called him and told him that she had reported the car stolen and the baby missing. The boyfriend was able to show detectives texts from Miller. He also told police that the window was broken prior to that day. Based on the boyfriend's account and text messages, Miller was arrested for filing a false report via the 911 system, placing her child in a situation where law enforcement. NT utilized high-risk apprehensive tactics.
Miller is facing charges of filing a false report, unlawful use of 911 and child endangerment. Like, come.